Ah, the Chow Garden. A place for relaxation, love, and fun. Psych! Did you know the Chow Garden and the Chow Creatures, despite being designed to be positive and cheerful, actually hold many dark secrets? Today we're going to be counting down the top 5 creepiest, scariest secrets and lore surrounding the Chow and the garden they live in. What words would you use to describe Chow? Cute, lovable, adorable are all common words used to describe them. Do you think those words apply to these Chow? These are Jago. They are from the game Fantasy Star Universe, which was made by the creators of Sonic Adventure 2. This game came out in 2006 and could possibly be why we haven't really seen another Chow Garden, as the Chow have very clearly been corrupted and turned into something that looks like it should be in a horror game. This game, from what I can tell, did not sell very well, which has made it extremely hard to find decent footage of these guys. Which honestly is probably for the best, as they are quite creepy. In the Sonic Adventure 2 Kindergarten, there are a few rooms to enter. There's the classroom, the health center, the fortune teller's room, and the principal's office. Surprisingly, the principal's office is the room with a scary secret. The statue in the corner of his office is alive! If you sit in the office long enough, you will see them blink on occasion. This must be some poor chow who did not listen to the principal and as a punishment got turned into a statue. How is this even possible? Where did this magic come from? Is this something that the Chow principal can just do on command, just turn Chow into statues? Like what? How, how could he do this? A very dark lore behind the principal of the Chow Kindergarten. Throughout the story of Sonic Adventure, we often get to see to call it the Master Emerald Shrine along with her Chow companions. The Chow are regularly seen playing and singing, minding their own business. In the last story of the game, we see these Chow once again except they are all lying on the ground. Dead. They were murdered by Takal's father and his soldiers in the Echidna tribe right before Chaos breaks free of the Master Emerald and wipes out all of the Echidnas. Thankfully, Takal is able to save the day by locking away Chaos and herself in the Emerald, but sadly all the Chow still end up dying. Some of you might try to claim that they come back later in the game or that they are just knocked out, but no. As a Chow expert, I can certify that these Chow are 100% dead. On top of that, at the end of the story, we see that Station Square is pretty much destroyed by chaos. The flooded city once contained a Chow Garden that is now likely submerged in water or just outright destroyed. The Chow in the first Sonic Adventure game really got it rough compared to Adventure 2. In Sonic Adventure 2, while playing as Knuckles and Rouge, you can dig in the Chow Gardens. You can actually find some pretty interesting things doing this. In both the normal and hero gardens, it is possible to dig up pumpkins, the perfect decoration for the holiday season. Now the dark garden is a little bit different. In the dark garden, you can dig up chow skulls. Now your first instinct might be to call the authorities or get help, but the game will happily tell you that you can instead put them on your chow's head as a hat, or sell them to the black market. I don't even want to know why these two little guys would buy a skull from you, as it is very concerning. Skulls being in the Dark Garden is proof that many Chow have died here. As far as I'm aware, you can actually dig up an infinite number of skulls if you are persistent enough, meaning an infinite number of Chow have died here. Very, very spooky lore for the Dark Garden, especially with all of the graves and the giant pool of blood. Now before we get to number one on the list, let me list off some quick things that just barely missed the cut for this list. The Chow Doctor has a glass jar with the Chow skull and crossbones on it, resembling poison. Chow World Extended actually adds this as an in-game item that immediately ends your Chow's life. The original Dreamcast Chow Gardens have pools deep enough to drown with tails, making it actually possible to die in the Chow Garden. They did fix this in the future versions of the game, but I'm imagining like 5 year olds playing the game in like 2001 and drowning in the Chow Garden. How dramatic would that be? You're just trying to raise your Chow and suddenly you're getting game over, drowning, hearing those scary uh, like violin sounds and whatnot? Oh my god, that's too much for me. And lastly, there's a level in Shadow the Hedgehog called Cryptic Castle where you can actually attack and hurt Chow. It actually benefits you too by filling up your dark meter and giving you chaos blasts. Seriously, Shadow the Hedgehog is one dark game. In Sonic Adventure 2, there are many different lost Chow to find, with one being in every stage. 
In Tails' first stage prison lane, the Lost Chow is in an interesting spot. About halfway through the stage after using the Mystic Melody, you can get to an area where you can find the Lost Chow, who is locked in a cell and guarded by multiple gun robots. When Sonic was suspected of taking out multiple soldiers, causing millions of dollars in property damage, evading police, and a bunch of other crimes, we saw he was arrested and locked in a big cell with no guards. In fact, there was so little security that him and Amy were able to have a full conversation before they escaped. This Chow has more security guards and a smaller cell than Sonic. This Chow is in the Sonic World equivalent of a maximum security prison, meaning he must have committed an extremely serious offense, likely murder or worse. I think one fun theory is that this Chow was a war criminal in the Chow Wars that we see on a billboard in Mission Street. It is also possible that he could have been a Chow serial killer and is responsible for all of the Chow skulls in the Dark Garden. Knowing that this type of Chow exists makes me scared for all Chow everywhere. There is also a similar Chow in the first Sonic Adventure who is imprisoned by Dr. Eggman. What is interesting about this Chow though, is that it isn't even born yet and is already in jail. This Chow must be one bad egg. <laughs> well, as you can see, Chow Garden isn't nearly as light and happy as it's uh, made out to be. There clearly are some dark elements. Thank you so much to all of my channel members and channel supporters. It is because of you that I am able to create content and stream regularly for everyone. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out one of my other ones. I have a Chow Garden series that I stream very regularly, and I've lately been streaming Sonic Heroes and some other Sonic games too that you might enjoy. Thanks for watching, have a good one.